All right, and now let's finally set up our first component. And in order to create a component in React, effectively, this is what we'll need to do. And as you're looking at it, your first thought probably is, wait a minute, guy with a weird accent. That looks a lot like a JavaScript function. And guess what? You're absolutely, positively, 100% correct. Yes, in order to create a component in React, essentially, we need to create a function. Yes, of course, there are differences. Essentially, that's the whole point of the section, is to show you what differences are there between the good old vanilla JS function and the components that will be creating React. But always, 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 when you think of component, think of function. Every time you want to create a component, think I need to create a function. And yes, it can be function with good old function keyword, or you can create the arrow function. That part doesn't really matter. Like I said, a lot depends on your preference. Now, we will cover more rules later. For now, I just want you to be aware that we want to start our components with capital letter. That's very important. Yes, we're creating a function, but we want to start with a capital letter. And we must, 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 must return some kind of HTML from this function. Now, technically, this HTML is called JSX, but you'll see in a bunch of blog posts and you'll hear me throughout this course as well effectively to use them interchangeably. Yes, what we're doing from the function, we are returning HTML. Essentially, this is going to be the tag that is displayed on the screen. And technically, you can return empty one. You're just not going to see any content on the screen. So once we know this info, let's just go to index.js and let's create that function. Again, the actual Syntax is really up to you. In my case, I think I'm going to go with good old function keyword just because I feel like good old function today. Then let's type return and whatever we want to display on our screen. So I'm not going to be very original and I'm just going to say my first component. So we're done. But once we save, nothing happens. And you're like, wait a minute, you just said that we we're going to create a function and we're going to be good to go. So normally, every time we'll create a component, we'll need to do these two things. We'll need to create a function, aka component, and we'll need to export it. Now, if you're not familiar with ES6 modules, don't worry about it. We'll spend quite a few videos on it. And essentially, what we're doing here is we're just exporting this particular component. And then we can use it anywhere in our application. Again, we'll focus on that a little bit later. I really want to uh, kind of hone in on the React stuff first. Again, if you're not familiar, don't worry, we'll cover it. If you are familiar, you know that essentially we're exporting as default. So we can just grab it anywhere in our application and we can render it essentially on the screen. Now, this is different though. In the index.js, that's where we're setting up our root component. Remember, I said that we can have as many components as we want. I mean, you can have thousands and thousands and thousands of components, but you'll always have at least one. So that's the root component. That's the sucker that we will inject into that ID root. Remember, we talked about it uh, when we discussed the folder structure. I said that there's a public one, there's index.html, and then there is this famous ID root. So now what do we want to do? We want to inject this greeting sucker into that ID root. And then since this is our JavaScript entry point, we do need to add a little bit more code. Now, please keep in mind, just like this code, it's not specific to React. This is ES6 modules. So in here, we export stuff away from the file. And in here, we import and we're actually importing from the libraries, basically from our dependencies. Again, if you are iffy on this, a little bit later, I'll cover everything in detail. 
Okay, don't worry about it. For now, just worry about the component and the function you need to create. That's it. And essentially, as far as this entry point, we want to grab React and React DOM. And notice this one is coming from React package, and this one is coming from React DOM forward slash client. And then we still have our function. That doesn't change. And then we want to go with React DOM create a root. So there's a special method that creates the root, and it's looking for one thing. It's looking for that ID. Now, how we can select ID in vanilla JS, we go with document get element by ID root. And then eventually we go with root.render. Again, if you're looking in this code and you're like, whoa, this got really confusing really fast, this is going to be your typical setup. And I'll show you the extension that actually sets up all the code for you. This is only for our root component, for our JavaScript entry point. And I can tell you right away that once we set it up, we'll pretty much forget about all this code. That's why, again, I know I've said this already 10,000 times. Focus, please, on this one. Rest of the stuff we'll figure out as we continue with the section. So first, let's grab those two imports. We're looking for React. So let me type over here. If you want, of course, you can copy and paste from the readme. So let's go here with the React. And as a side note, most likely VS Code is going to give you the auto import. If it doesn't, then again, just look for React. And then we want to go with import React and then DOM. And then this is coming from React DOM library forward slash and client. And as a side note, they changed the syntax in React 18. So prior to that, there was React DOM render. Now they create that root first. So right after the greeting, we want to go with const and we'll create a root. So React DOM, and now we're looking for that create root. And now let's select the ID with the value of root. So this is where we go back to vanilla JavaScript and we go with get element by ID. And yes, we're looking for the ID of root. And once we have all of this in place, we want to go with a root and then render. And here we want to pass our component. Now, when we create a component, we create a function, correct? We create a JavaScript function. Now, when we want to render it, the syntax is following. We go here with the angle bracket, then the name of the component. And then one thing we need to know about React that we always, always need to self-close it. So this is, again, one of the rules that we'll discuss a little bit later. Just remember that when you pass in the component, you have two options. You can pass it like so with the opening one and the closing one, even though there's nothing in between. Yes, that's the case. Or you can self-close it, but you always, always have to do that. You kind of just leave it like this notice. It right away shows this red squiggly line, and that means that there is error in our application. And once we save it, we should see my first component in the browser. Now, if you don't, just go back here and refresh. Since we're messing with the source folder and all that, maybe create React app just needs a little nudge. Now, if for some weird reason you're still stuck on this error, don't panic. Since we tinkered with index.js, we just need to give create react app a little nudge. Basically, we need to restart the server. So navigate to your integrated terminal, press control C, which is going to stop the server and then restart the server with npm start. Again, navigate to the terminal, press control C, which is going to stop the server and then just restart the server with npm start. And at the very end of the video, I just want to showcase the casing. So if I go here and if I, let's say, go with greeting and then greeting over here, again, the same deal, we'll have an error. Notice I have nothing on the screen. And if I open developer tools, I have warning with that greeting, blah, 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 blah. So again, we don't want to do that. We always want to start with capital letter. And once I fix the casing, of course, everything works as expected. 
we're done setting up our first component. If there's one thing I want you to take away from this video, every time you think of component, think of function. That's it. If you do that, you'll be solid.